Hello everybody, Kirk Gaming here, welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we took on the mini-boss, Dark Link, and I proceeded further than I've ever played before. We left right outside this door because I got all the way here to discover I had missed one key. It took me 20 minutes to go and get that key. Not because of the getting the key itself, but just because of how convoluted it is for me to go raise the water level, go into that room. So it was the second, the middle floor. Uh, there's a doorway with a gate and there's an eyeball you have to shoot right underneath the doorway and then you can long shot your way to the end of that hallway and that's it. And once you do that, you get to the other side of that block puzzle I found at the very start of the temple and just push it across and bam, there's the key. It took maybe 30 seconds once I actually got there. Getting there and getting back took me 20 minutes and it is ridiculous. I never was confused about where to go and never stumbled really on getting there. It just legitimately took 20 minutes to go to one chest and back. And that is goddamn annoying in this dungeon. But, alright, I'm done ranting and rambling. But no, well, I'm not done rambling, but I'm done ranting. We got the boss key! Now we can get inside the chamber where the boss looks. Alright, let's go do that. So. Uh, yeah, start off, we're gonna go here. Oh, actually, we've got a couple of steps to do. Uh, I got it. We're gonna make it all the way back to the main central room. Uh, then we're gonna go... And raise... We're gonna take that long route around. In order to get to our, uh... Ow, come on now. We're going to take the long road around in order to get to where we can raise the water to the very top level. I think. Actually, do we? Is it possible that they left shop spots around so I can actually just get up there without needing to worry about raising the water level? Because that would be nice. I'm, I'm going to see if we can do that. So weird that it just sometimes doesn't let me, sometimes it does. You know what? Uh, let's just ignore them, I think. It's probably for the best. Please stop. Thank you. Now, can we hookshot our way up, is my question. Maybe rather long shot. Might be more. Sensible way of saying it. Um, not from the this side. I mean, look, if I have to go long way around to do it, fine, I will. Oh, actually. Well, not quite. Okay, I give up. Mostly because I don't want to deal with those goddamn tech tights. Yeah, the worst enemy, I swear to god. Wait. No, not here. No, my bad. I got it. Nah, I. Yeah, my bad. Run away. I gotta go in here. That's what I gotta do. I've only been through it three or four times. One day. Well, I feel confident that if I ever need to again beat the Water Temple, it should be a little bit more feasible. Um, oh yeah, we want to raise that water to part way first. We can get... No, come on now. Alright, can I play the correct notes? There we go.
like overall I still had a lot of fun with this dungeon. And I think it does some cool things. Just getting back and forth, and like the idea of like if you miss one key, you got to backtrack for 20 minutes is just a little ridiculous to me. That's, I think, my main gripes. Alright, so now we go through here. Oh, uh. That over there is where I, I had to go before. Alright, there's a tech side up the top who jumps down. At me, and will knock me out of the water if I want. Come on. There he is. Been there, done that. And so now we rise. For what? I think, thankfully, the last time. Well, what am I doing? I hit up. There we go. God, so this all about is ingrained in my brain now. Can we ignore the enemies and go? Wrong button. Hell yeah. Alright. We've still got all three fairies, so by any chance they've respawned. Yes. What the fuck? Alright, we've still got all three fairies in jars, so uh not too concerned. Zero no. Oh, if I stop at all, I slide all the way back. Wait, do I still slide down if I have the iron boots? Yes, even faster. Alright, I'm gonna not do that. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Time to find a boss! Link! Look out! That isn't normal water over there! What are we doing now? Giant aquatic amoeba, Morpha. Alright, let's see what we have to do. I'm guessing hook shot it. Ow, ow. What the hell? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... What? What the fuck? There we go. That does in fact seem to be all I have to do. I was just missing a lot. Oh, come on now. 
There we go. God, I have no idea what's happening. Well, that seemed to work. I have to wait for it to get behind us still. Oh boy. Uh, let's back up. damage. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. Nope, nope, nope. Not letting you. Come on, come on. No, no, no! Woo! I'm still not clear what I'm doing. I'm just hoping for the best, honestly. Oh, come on now. No, oh, come on. God damn it. I cannot time this for the life of me. Oh god damn it, no. Give me As far as I can tell I can't do anything now that he's got me. Whatever this thing is. Excuse me. There we go. What? No! I just attacked! You can't attack while I'm attacking! That's rude! Like, as far as I can tell, I can't push any buttons to do anything. He just hurts me for two hearts. So, now we're gonna put up the beeping. Apologies. There we go! Is that it? Was the hot container, rather? There. Got a hot container. Maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally filled. Thank goodness. And with that, we can move on and leave the water temple. Chamber of the Sages. Link. Would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zara's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. 
as a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the water temple as the Sage of Water. And you, you're searching for the Princess Zelda? Ha, ah, you can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda. She's alive, I can sense it. So don't be discouraged. You can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. You receive the water medallion, which awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. You see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? The water rises. The evil is vanishing from the lake. Link, you did it. Did Rudo want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Look at that, Link. Together, you and Princess Rudo destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water, all as it was here. <laughs> really? <laughs> that feels downright silly. Oh, uh, well. Shake does as he does. Alright. So we did it. We've restored the water to Lake Halia. Now, let's shoot an arrow into the sun. Now you might recall, I checked this sign probably, what, four episodes ago? I think back when we went fishing. So the sign said, when water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. As it was morning, uh, I figured I'd quickly rush and do that. So now we can grab this. So I think, I was really waiting to get the long shot before we started doing side quests. Because there's so much stuff that we just can't reach, more than anything. You got the fire armor. Instead of sea and your arrows will be powered up. If you hit your target, it will catch fire. Hell yeah. So now we can pick fire arrows if we so desire. But as you can see, we're missing a couple items, and I think I would like to correct that. So I think next time on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to go hunting down a lot of spare items that we haven't. A lot of uh, side quest stuff that we haven't done yet. Alright, and after that we'll probably head to whatever the next temple is. Um, we've done grass, fire, water. And then whatever these two are, uh, that one of them's next. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>